are you two? Walk one. Welcome back to the Motor Mania channel. This is the Motor Bikers channel as, as well. Today we're doing an unboxing of a brand new helmet that we just got. Um, this is the Scorpion XO R1 Air Juice. Um, this is not my first Scorpion helmet. I used to rock Scorpion back in the day. I don't remember the, the, which, which model it was, but we had a Scorpion and we just started riding. Scorpion to me is one of the most comfortable helmets out there right now. Um, so I always liked Scorpion. I ended up selling that helmet, but that helmet was the best fitting helmet up to today. Not even the icons fit as good as the Scorpion. So um, I saw this helmet online and I saw a lot of motor bloggers using it. And I said, you know what? I feel like I'm gonna go back to Scorpion, you know? Currently we're using the AGV. Um, I think it's a K3. Yeah, I think it's a K3 that we use you now for the vlogging. But that helmet is very windy. It doesn't fit good. It just look pretty. Uh, very pretty helmet, but it's not ideal for what we want to do. So we said we'll step it up and go with a Scorpion. And this is just one of many helmet reviews, unboxing that we're going to be doing because we have, after this, we have another unboxing today. I'm not going to tell you which brand helmet that is yet, but we we have a couple more helmets for for unbox so yeah i think we should just get started um i got this helmet from revzilla that's where i buy most of my parts from most of my accessories most of my gears um i have a good relationship with them we don't i, I could have bought it from scorpion but i said i have a long-standing relationship with revzilla so we'll just continue to buy from them still get the warranties still get all of that so Without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. So this is, uh, as I said, the Scorpion Exo Air R1 or Scorpion R1 Exo Air, whichever. But this is the juice version, um, extra large. The last Scorpion I had was a large, so you know how long ago that was. So now we'll be extra large. And most of the helmets, if not all, Icon AGV, all of them will be extra large. You know? Kind of get like a bigger so so um let's see what we have in the box here now so the first thing we have is our helmet and we also get a visor and we get a pin lock insert get dry wipes and that's it so this is what we get the scorpion exo helmet get a smoke shield included in the box i didn't pay extra for this it comes with a smoke shield and the visors are pin lock ready and you, they give you a free pin lock insert which is very good um, not many helmet brands do that I've never actually bought a helmet and get a free smoke. Well, I got a free smoke shield, but I'm never gonna have free pin lock. So, without further ado, let's let's reveal the helmet. This is my first time. I had a helmet for almost two weeks now. It's the first time I'm taking it out of the box. So I wanted it to be. I wanted to view it for the first time when Una viewed for the first time. If you get the message. So I look at the quality of the, the helmet sock too. It's really high quality, it's very thick. So if your helmet drop while it's in the socket, you know, it not get damaged. Very, very thick material and it's the same material for the visor. So, I mean the shield. So they give you a, a sock for the shield because you know, if you have a smoke visor, you're traveling on the road, let's say we are going country and we we'll come back late and we don't want to travel with a dark visor in the night. There's a bag for you, um, for your, your, your clear visor, so you don't have to struggle for seeing that like your visor won't get scratched. All 
All right, so we we'll start with the review now. Now that you see the helmet, you see the colorway. Um, I went to the red. I'll just tell you why I went to the red because they have a nice carbon fiber one that a lot of the motor vloggers, the popular one, use like Anki and some of the other ones use the, the wet carbon one. But because I have the red Ducati and I get in some more gears geared toward the Ducati, I said I get a red helmet. So as I was looking for a red helmet, it's my first red helmet. And it's not fully red, so you know it does go with, you know, you look a black that there, look a carbon fiber, you know, it kind of even though it's red mostly, it still have a bunch of other colors in it that kind of make it neutral and go with everything. But, um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is that the fact that this helmet is DOT and ECE rated, so it's a it is a track ready helmet. You can buy it and go straight to the track with it. The marshals will allow you with it because it has the ECE rating. And it's also a pretty good looking helmet and you can ride it on the street, it's still bossy. Zane, um, as I said before, the helmet is pin lock ready. And for everybody who don't know what pin lock is, this is pin lock. These little screws that you see on the side of the helmet right here, that's pin lock. And what it does is that it allows you to put in a pin lock um, insert visor and that will help the helmet um, that will prevent the helmet from fogging up when you breathe in it so i run pin lock in almost all the helmets except the icon the air flights because i think those visors are anti-fog already but it's good that they stopped and decided to give us give it a pin lock in the in the package already and a smoke shield and the visors um as i said it's pin lock ready so that's a good thing um so you do get a smoke visor as i was saying to you before in the bag in the box which is pretty cool so there you go and it's a light smoke as you can see it's not too dark so it's something that you can wear in the day it will still look much better than the clear and if night catch up on the road it won't make you crash and kill off yourself in other words so that's good that that's that is um that is included in the package because a visor like this are probably like $60 by itself this helmet was with taxes and shipping was about $499 I think on Revzilla I don't know if Scorpion sell it cheaper but as I said I only buy it from Revzilla um, we'll talk about the internals a little bit so first things first a lot of ventilation chin vents Vents at the top, vents at the back, and the vents at the back work. I'm not really know if I work it. It's the first time I'm looking at them, but the vents at the back work. Nice rear spoiler for aerodynamics. So when the air comes through the front, it escapes through here. This is actual vent, not just style. You see me? Center locking visor. So if you're ambidextrous, I mean, if you're lefty or right, you can only advise it easy. Nice retention, nice seal around yourself, breath deflector included. You know, there's some nice little details in, 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 in the helmets too, man. I tell the truth, the rest is over. So. so, under the helmet now, you have, this is something I only see on Scarpin helmets. And I don't know every helmet, so don't kill me. But I only see this on the scarpons. This neck roll. I don't even know what you call it. But it, this is what makes the helmet so quiet. Because it, this seals around your jawline. So the wall around it, so this will just hold on to it and make air, prevent air from going right there. So if you have vlog, you won't get as much wind noise. Um, emergency neck roll release. This is for paramedics, EMS. So if you, if you touch down and you're injured and they don't know you're unconscious and they don't want to just yank the helmet off your head then just pull this i won't pull it now but you can just pull this and the entire neck um the neck roll will just come off and then your helmet can come off easy so that's a pretty good feature to have it have the double buckle clasp double buckle clasp which i think is better than the ratchet system one and more secure I like this is what I like about this helmet. This little piece that says "Scarpa." Is it? Yeah, there's something about it. Just it does look bossy. No, it's like that. Um, what else? What happened? All right. So let me tell you 
why this is called the the air the r1 air it has a inflation system in the cheek pads so there's a button behind the chin curtain i'm not sure if, if you can see the button the big red button right here and what happens is if you want a race fit while you're riding you can pump this button and it will inflate your cheek pads it will make your cheek pads and puff up fit your face more snug so that way the helmet don't move when you're going high speeds and there's a there's a release button to the right of it so if you pump it up you can hear it i'm not sure if you can hear it it's pumped up now and you release it so that is i've never seen that in another helmet i tell you the truth i never see that yet so i have an extra large let's say this helmet was to fit me a little big you can just pump up with cheek pads and it will fit you no but you should still still should buy your regular size I'm just say if you want a race fit like the AGV used to move and that mega fast it used to move and hit me in my face right there so, so this should have been this is a nice feature to have for high speed runs you end up on the toll you end up on the highway things like that it's a nice little feature for how I think that's the best feature of this helmet and that is why I went with it so um it have speaker pockets for your comm system somewhere in here I don't know where I'm not going to pull up the helmet to show you but it have a lot of things the air the it's called the air fit system that's what it's called air fit system and to be honest with you, i think it unique to scorpion one of the nicest features of having a helmet if you have plan for the look of track day if you have plan for do some high high speed runs nice little feature for half um what else do i talk about can try to change the visor phone if you don't want few moments later <sighs> all right so finally get the visor for going properly um so here it is with the smoke shield and as i said it's a light smoke it's not fully dark that dark and i'll probably run the pin lock in this one so i can use it in the day in the night i'll probably just get another pin lock for so both visors can be pin lock ready so yeah Helmet very light, too. very light. I don't know what the weight was, but light. You know? I'm proud of the buyer, it's a good buy. It's like a match Ducati properly. I was thinking about getting the the Rurac Atlas 4.0 in, in red to go with this. Um, but something about this, the air flight, the, the air, the air fit system, the way it fit, the cost. Just I felt like this was a better buy than the than the the Rurac. All right. Yeah. Big up to Youth Official. Don't know sponsors for the video. Big up Guns. Anyway, I'm there. But as I said, stay tuned for the next helmet review, and we we'll have some other reviews to have. Um, motorcycle shoes or bugger thing so stay tuned remember if you like the video again guys comment share and do the right thing boss the bikers you know where i do it for jamaican bikers and if you guys are interested in getting the helmet i can leave the link in the description for you on your comment you just stop right at the description so and check it out too so that or that um oh i know what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to try it on uh, i know we're in a surf Get a helmet sack because we sweat. Okay. Instruction manual included. 
That's what that was supposed to. I was wondering what I never did in that. Supposed to try on the damn helmet. Alright, so first try on Scorpion XO R1 here. Yeah. It have the new helmet smell. And it fits really good. The cheek pads aren't even inflated and it fits snug. It don't feel loose. Don't it feel good? So this is how it look. You know what I so after that. So yeah, as I said, remember for like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next one. See? Respect.